Reviewing uh, parallelograms, and then we're going to talk about two additional uh, types of parallelograms today. We've talked about the parallelogram. Again, opposite sides are parallel. And we've talked about the rhombus being a special type of parallelogram in which all four sides are equal. Okay? Now, another type of parallelogram is the rectangle, which I'm sure you've all seen the rectangle before. The rectangle has four 90-degree angles. And another property of the rectangle, and a more obvious one, is that the diagonals are going to be congruent. That is, that this diagonal is going to be equal to that diagonal. That would be one of the properties of rectangles. If I draw that in there, that means that this and that and that and that are all equal. So those four segments are equal. And there's a type of uh, parallelogram that's both a rhombus and a rectangle, and that is the square. And the square has four 90-degree angles and four congruent sides. And the interesting property of the square is that the diagonals of a square actually split the square up into four 90-degree triangles. And not only are they 90 degrees, but they're actually all 45, 45, 90. Right? Because remember that the diagonals of a rhombus split an angle up into two equal parts. So all four of these right triangles here are going to be 45, 45, 90 right triangles. Okay? Now when we talk about these quadrilaterals, if the quadrilateral is a square, then it's also everything above it. So it's also a rectangle, it's also a rhombus, it's also a parallelogram. If the quadrilateral is a rhombus, then it's also everything above it, so it's also a parallelogram. Right? If the quadrilateral is a rectangle, it's also everything above it, so it's also a parallelogram. So based on this tree here, any uh, quadrilateral is also everything that is above it. Okay?